What is going on guys? We're back with another video today and we are going to be talking about what Dodge has just released this week. They have confirmed that they are going to be making the Ram TRX, also known as the Ram T-Rex, but I'll get to that in a minute. So what um, Dodge has essentially done is, they, you know they put a Hellcat motor in the Charger, in the Challenger, in the Jeep, the Trackhawk, and they put one in the Durango. Now they have put one in the 1500. So that is going to be a 702 horsepower motor, a little bit less than the original Hellcat 707, with 650 pound, pound feet of torque. And the starting price, I believe, before options is $71,000. So that's a little bit more than um, your Hellcat, around the same price as a Red Eye for a Charger or a Challenger, but it's actually cheaper than a Trackhawk, which is a base price, I believe, is 85. And I'm curious to find out what the price is for the Durango coming out. They have not released that yet. But Dodge is also releasing, they call it the launch edition um, of the TRX. And that will be on sale for 92,000. I just read an article yesterday where they actually have sold out of the launch edition of these trucks. So they will begin, I think you can order one at the end of this year, 2020. There'll be a 2021 model. Um, so stay tuned for that coming up. But as you can see, I'll put some pictures up here on the screen. This is what the truck looks like um, here. And you can see it looks super aggressive. We have giant uh, air intake the hood with the air intakes on it, functional air intake um, for the motor. And then there's a picture of the inside. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, limited version, I think I think it come in the big horn as well, but the new 1500s, they come with like a 12.9 inch touch screen. And you can see here that all of these trucks actually come with the 12.9 inch touch screen infotainment center standard on the TRX model. Um, so that's a plus, because um, it looks super nice and this interior looks amazing, um, as you can see from the pictures. But also, let's talk about its competitor, the Raptor. So now, though, what, what Dodge kind of went through was that they kind of played on this whole Raptor is the only off-road truck available, blah, blah, blah. And they went ahead and made the TRX, also known as the T-Rex, which I think is hilarious because of the fact that T-Rex is so much bigger and badder than a Raptor and it eats Raptors, etc. Um, and I think that was just kind of like a, uh, they're just poking fun at Ford at this point. But as you know, the, the Raptor comes, I believe, it used to come in the 6.2 liter V8 until 2013 or 2014. And they switched to the 3.5 liter EcoBoost turbo motor, which I think that makes about 450 horsepower, maybe 500-ish pound-feet of torque. Um, and that, the regular Raptor starts, I believe, at 58,000. So it's a little bit less than the uh, new and upcoming TRX. But what would you rather have? You would rather have a supercharged V8 or would you rather have a, a turbocharged 6-liter? Like, come on now. And so I think this truck is going to be a huge success. As you, can know, as you know, the launch edition is already sold out for 92 grand a piece, which is ridiculous. But... Um, more to come on this. I'll put some more pictures up here on the screen to let you all see them. Um, Dodge has uh, finally released this. And I really don't know what else they can actually put a Hellcat motor in at this point because they've already done it in just about every single other model. The models that they sell, I know they wouldn't put it in a Patriot or something like that. But what would, I guess what would be interesting would be like a Wrangler or something like that. That would be, that would be kind of neat to see that but other than that I think this is amazing it's very cool that Dodge just keeps pushing that bar putting a supercharged motor in every single vehicle they have um, but if you have any questions about this or want to know more um, 
leave them down in the comments below. Uh, like this video, and please subscribe, and have a good day. Thanks.